Hello. So I know this is weird that a depressed person is giving advice on happiness, but I feel like if you've got depression and happiness, you have to fight for it. Those are the people you should take the advice from. If somebody is just naturally happy, they don't know how to be happy, it's just natural to them, if you get what I mean. Keep in mind also that I'd probably be much happier and stuff like that if I was medicated. I'm not medicated because obviously I can go into it all. Um, I can't you know, go to a doctor and stuff like that. But um, so I'm completely unmedicated, completely untreated and I need therapy. <laughs> Uh, so I've do I've I was at my lowest um, until maybe two years ago. I was just ready to die. <laughs> uh, death was welcome back then. So now I'm so much better. So like keep that in mind because I'm actually really proud of myself. Like I'm I've done all this you know myself with the help of obviously these three. <laughs> been there for me and stuff like that but the all this stuff in my head I've done myself and I'm so I'm really proud of that so yeah I want to um share some stuff that helps me find happiness before I get into the tips of course um if you look at videos on how to be happy and stuff I, I've actually not done this I should probably have done this before filming this I've never seen a video on how to be happy for all I know I'm just like repeating what everyone else has said but I don't think so I don't know but I'm guessing they're mostly like you know be kind have gratitude um spread kindness make other people happy and then you'll be happy in turn and of course all of that is very true gratitude I feel like I'll kind of talk about but yeah I feel like that's a given I'm not going to be talking about anything like that I don't think that into the tips sometimes I feel like I'm not sure how happiness feels but I, I know some of you will be like that too. The first tip is to, it's kind of a mindset change, but once you can get this mindset, you'll find yourself much happier. And it's not an overnight thing, it's something you have to work at, but it's to just realize what an amazing, this sounds so stupid, but please listen, don't click out. <laughs> like, life is amazing. If, and we are used to whatever we are brought up with so even if you were raised in your favorite fantasy world uh, you were raised with people throwing fireballs you were raised where there was no death you were raised where you lived underwater had mermaids like you were a mermaid and stuff I guarantee you you'd find it boring because that's what you were used to and you'd find this existence amazing and this would be in a fantasy book like oh do you know they can make lights that can change colors oh how do they do that like it, I wish that was in our world or like sight do you know they can see things that then they know where things are that they're not even touching like they know that there's um, they, they know where something is when it's a mile away and they know what it what shape it is and they're not even touching it that's amazing that's magic and um, you know who know this life we have sight other lives we won't ha we you know other worlds won't have sight and sight is amazing hearing is amazing and like you'd be swimming around as a mermaid like <laughs> by the way dog and cat playing as usual in the background so you'd be swimming around as a mermaid like I'm so bored everything's just the same I, like I so tales are so boring it's just one tale what about those fantasy things in books what I've read that have these two limbs that they can use to go around on and stuff like that's what would be happening so yeah just to really be an alien in this world I guess is to just see everything for the first time and it, it's just it's so amazing and you can it's overwhelming if you can get this mindset you'll be overwhelmed by the simplest of things you walk outside and be like 
holy fuck is that a fucking piece of wood coming out of the ground that's alive and it's got freaking stuff coming out of it leaves or whatever like i don't know that's a bad example but i obviously i don't go outside so i can't really remember what things are but you know you will get that and it's such a a simple change but if you can manage to make yourself think like that you're experiencing this life for the first time that's the biggest thing for me and then the second tip is kind of tied in with the first one it's also like a mindset thing what you can do it's um to realize we live in the future also the past if obviously people are still existing in the future in the far future but you know how you think uh people there were really people like a thousand years ago just walking around having their everyday life i wonder what life was like back then in a thousand years where there's people we're in the past right now and we're you know walking around and also how you think oh, i wonder what the future will be like i wonder all these amazing things that will happen imagine and like now we're surrounded by we kind of know some of the amazing stuff because you know, we've got all this technology and stuff obviously it might be more it will be probably more amazing but in the past society was still you know people are new um so we're only we've only just got footing and um in the past a thousand years ago even 500 years ago did be thinking like are oh, people in the future do you know what i'm gonna even make it even more simple 40 years ago when we start 80s 80s right um thanks <laughs> so 40 years ago in the 80s oh man i love the 80s but anyway people would think to the future they'd be like did star trek star trek was out then of course it was like from before the code but um so like there are all these things set in the future and people were like oh that's so cool i wonder what the future will be like like we're there we're in the future and like i'm talking you to through my phone <laughs> like my phone films and also has all the information known on it like and just think things like that just know that like if you just obviously just sit and think and you'll just be like <laughs> for like 10 hours <laughs> but it's just there's just so much amazing things that people don't even think about because it's just all we know and the third tip is also just this is all just in the be beginning tip but yeah like cats exist <laughs> you know technology is magic i see cats as mythical creatures like if i if no creatures existed other than us and they put all of the mythical creatures down and said pick one i'd probably pick cats because they just i can't believe they exist every day i'm like i can't believe she exists <laughs> looking at my cat like they're just these fluffy things that try talking but all that comes out is the cutest little high-pitched meow <laughs> cute <laughs> and then they just walk around and they do stuff like this and just i don't know just cats are just so amazing and cute and funny i just can't believe they're real they look like something out of an anime so it's that i think about that all the time as well and that makes me happy just thinking about cats existing so the fourth tip but technically second tip i guess is to find yourself and to shed habits that you've picked up that aren't you i used to have habits in my personality I, my personality like and you think who am i like because all i i'm all i is i can't even put this into words but like you're surrounded by people who act a certain way and then that's just how you act um, but if you were brought up somewhere else you'd act like that just to make you like to try and shed all of that and make yourself blank and then just realize which is part of you and what's input from outside 
and then you'll become so much stronger your sense of self because it will all be you you'll know when something's coming in from outside yeah I can't, I'm trying to tell you this stuff but I can't put it into words but I'm trying my best I, can't, I really can't think of the words to tell you it's really frustrating but just to be yourself it sounds simple it's really not like I'm just saying be yourself it's like oh, it's such a complicated thing to be instead of just having input all the time as soon as you wake up you're on your phone and then you watch something and then you listen to something and then you're talking to someone and then you're straight back onto your phone and you never have like if you're one of those people who never has time to actually just be silent and think and um, just spend time like that with no odd input and just learn you yourself that's the best way i can put it like hopefully you get what i'm trying to say uh, the next tip is to allow yourself to enjoy things we have this mentality that if it's not productive it's a waste of time um which is so silly what's productive really to earn money um you, you know why <laughs> obviously we need money and stuff like that so yes do make sure you try and support yourself and stuff like that but there's more to life it's an unfortunate thing that we have to earn this man-made currency you know to buy passage on our own planet that we were all born onto equally you know we can't just go into the forest and live somewhere because that's illegal <laughs> and that's a whole other ramp but anyway so it, yeah it, it sucks but you know that's just how it is but you know we and for that reason like it's not you don't you shouldn't really be living to work unless that truly is your happiness but it's it's just such a struggle because you know teenagers mostly and stuff like that they'll be playing video games and then the parents would be like you just start playing video games why aren't you doing homework why aren't you um going out and doing some socializing like doing something else and it's like because video games are fun and so we're taught that things we find fun if they're not productive or social uh they're a bad thing and that's so not true you need to feed your soul you need to experience enjoyment and not without the guilt because for so long and i still get this sometimes if i'm playing a video game which i really enjoy it makes me so happy um then i'll be feeling guilty about it like oh, I should be doing something else. I should be learning a language. I should be you know, learning more about science. I should be changing my rock tumbler thing, which I really need to do. I keep forgetting. Um, I should be doing something else, something creative. But but enjoyment is part of life. Obviously, if that's all you're doing, yeah. But every so often. You know what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like just let yourself enjoy things if without the guilt, try and figure out a way where you can get rid of the guilt if you shouldn't be feel feeling guilty about it, like I said. But I really hope this helps. If this helps even one person it's worth the uh, the effort of uploading because setting up the camera on my nails fell off everyone's been very annoying cooing up and making like huffing noises and stuff uh and so i forget like i forget things if someone if i'm like, talking and someone distracts me i just it's like gone everything i was that was in my head is gone <laughs> let me know also if you have any tips on how you find happiness or get happiness um because uh, you know you can never have too many tips on this subject 
and we'll do this together also because I'm still working on this I get sad everyone gets sad also I just want to say like you to be a, you can be a happy person and get sad sometimes you know there's the highs and the lows you don't have highs without lows so you know if you get sad sometimes you've not failed at finding happiness you're just a person who you know is sad um for now but it will pass so yeah obviously i still get sad sometimes and all of that but it's getting less and less thank you for watching until next time bye bye